Good morning and welcome to Kid News. I'm Tori. It's Tuesday, August 22nd, 2023. And we begin with much of the U.S. Southwest wringing itself out after Hillary barreled through, causing flooding, power outages, and school closures. Among the most affected areas, Palm Springs, which was essentially cut off from the rest of California as water submerged roads in the typically arid city. The mayor urged people to stay home, and at one point, the 911 dispatch system went down. And while a photo of a seemingly inundated Dodger Stadium in L.A. went viral on social, it turns out it wasn't actually surrounded by floodwaters. It was just an optical illusion. Hillary may have made history as the first tropical storm in California in 84 years, but it made a bigger record book splash as the first such storm to ever cross into Nevada. A Florida teen has secured his place as a world-class snake wrestler in this year's Florida Python Challenge, even though he didn't win the top prize. 18-year-old Jack Cronin was searching the Everglades National Park with his team last week when he spotted a massive python that was 15 feet long, longer than an SUV, and weighed nearly 100 pounds. Jack didn't hesitate and told local TV station WSVN he immediately jumped, grabbed the snake's head, and then things went nuts. It turned into a wrestling match. Although Jack and his crew successfully captured the python, they missed the official weigh-in for the contest by five hours. The country's oldest living president is in the final chapter, according to the grandson of Jimmy Carter. The 98-year-old former president beat brain cancer in 2015, but has faced a series of health issues since then and in February entered hospice care. Josh Carter told People magazine his grandfather fully understands how many well wishes he's received and has felt the love, especially from his wife, Rosalind, to whom he's been married for 77 years, making them the longest married presidential couple in U.S. history. And as Josh was proud to point out, they're still holding hands. The former Georgia governor was president from 1977 to 1981 and later, along with his wife, worked tirelessly to advance world peace and health through the Carter Center organization. If you and your family are struggling to understand what's being said on TV, you're not alone. In this era of streaming content, there's a growing problem of sound quality. One big reason, most major movie productions set the audio levels for traditional theaters with fancy speaker systems that can deliver a wide range of sounds. But when you're watching entertainment on a smaller screen, like a TV, smartphone, or tablet, the audio is compressed to carry the sounds through small, weak speakers. Marina Killian, an audio engineer, tells the New York Times that tech and media companies are working frantically on solutions. But in the meantime, surveys indicate that about half of Americans and the majority of young people often watch videos with subtitles so they don't miss a word of what the actors are saying. In other Kid News notes, the oldest remains of a plant-eating dinosaur have been found in an area called the Thar Desert in western India. The fossils date back 167 million years, making them the oldest in the world. And this is also the first time this type of dinosaur, with a long neck and body, has been discovered in that country. Remains have previously been located in Africa, the Americas, and China, but never India until now. The all-Indian team of scientists named the newly discovered species Thorosaurus indicus, referencing the desert and the country of origin. And Taylor Swift's Eras Tour is reportedly on track to become the highest-grossing tour ever. According to CNN, it could hit $2.2 billion in ticket sales in the U.S. alone. The previous record holder was Elton John for his farewell Yellow Brick Road Tour that took in more than $939 million from 2018 to 2023, according to Larry Miller, director of a music business program at New York University. Coming up, how YouTube videos help launch a possible career in the NFL. But first, the Kid News Quiz. Which baseball stadium is not surrounded by floodwaters, as social media photos seem to indicate? Dodger Stadium in L.A. What was the length of a python captured by an 18-year-old in Florida? 
15 feet, or longer than an SUV. The oldest remains of a plant-eating dinosaur were discovered where? The Thar Desert in India. Taylor Swift is on track to top what other artist with the highest grossing concert tour ever? Elton John. In our Kid News Kicker, can someone who learned how to play football by watching YouTube become a professional player? Hagai Ndubisi is giving it a shot. The 23-year-old from Nigeria had spent most of his teen years focusing on soccer and basketball. But watching a video of the best tackles in the NFL five years ago got him hooked. The Washington Post reports he arranged for practices with his friends, even though he didn't know the names of most of the positions. A couple years ago, he was invited to join a program that was searching for football talent in Africa. That led to a contract with the Denver Broncos to join their training camp this summer. He's playing as a defensive tackle and even got a couple tackles in a preseason game against Arizona. While he's still considered a long shot to make the final roster, he says he's thrilled to have this opportunity to do what he loves. Before we go, we want to give a big Kid News shout out to some of our amazing educators, Mrs. Sunata and her Wildcats at Holy Catholic Academy in Honolulu, Hawaii. Mrs. Maxie and her Patriots at Lester B. Summer Elementary in Crawfordsville, Indiana. And Ms. Oliver and her Eagles at Mixon Intermediate School in Ozark, Alabama. Thanks for listening. It really helps if you rate and review us wherever you get your podcasts. We hope you tune in for more Kid News tomorrow morning.